Hello and welcome to this week's What's Hot. And What's Hot is the issue that has been far too long procrastinated over since the Grenfell Tower disaster. It's the issue of cladding and the house builders, some of whom are no longer operational, have been given the responsibility of removing inappropriate cladding. That announcement coming from Michael Stuck in the BBC Lift Gove on Monday, who said that the cladding removal was the industry's responsibility, causing shares in Persimmon and Red Row to both lose 3% of their value. Now then, disruption is coming in another form. This after Justin Smith, the former head of Bloomberg Media, stepped down announcing that he was going to set up his own media company aimed at graduates. Now, he started to fan the flames in March 2021 when he announced that the journalism industry must show more imagination, creativity and urgency to battle back from the COVID-19 crisis. Now, at the time, I thought that was a very bland statement, but he stopped saber rattling and he's now picked up the gauntlet and is doing something about it. He's doing something about it with his doppelganger surname namesake because he and Ben Smith, the media columnist for the New York Times, are starting that company together. And I can see the headlines of the future now. Smith versus Smith. And what's this? Oh, look, he's at a drinks party. Seriously, I wish them well. But is this an investment opportunity at grassroots level? What form will the disruption take? Will it be a greater use of the thesaurus? I need to be convinced. Well, let's have a look at the, broad, the listed broadcasting and media stocks here in the UK and the media sector over the past six months has performed relatively well. And over the past week, we are seeing ITV's stock price being recharged after a very choppy three months. Well, the scheduled trading announcements come in like a big thick duvet towards the end of the trading week with updates from Dunelm, Tesco and Holford. And let's hope it is a warm duvet as opposed to a wet dog. Speaking of which, hand up, hands up, if you're ready for a brew dog IPO in 2022. Well, not for me, certainly not this month, because I'm dry this month, unlike the dog. Stay well, take care. I'll see you same time next week.